Okay, <clears throat> welcome back to the second tutorial about tokens for Roll20. On this one, I'll show you how to upload the token we made in the last session and uh, install it in our Roll20 game. So we'll open up Roll20, here it is. Okay, so this is the uh, normal game board that you're going to see. And it's this character down here that's going to need the token. He hasn't got one currently. First thing we need to do is upload the token. So quick, open up your art library, click on upload, you get this little box, choose the file. Now we saved it into the picture file. So this is the picture file up here and we're going to just go and find, there it is, Ken PNG, PNG file. So click OK, open that up and it'll upload. You start seeing it going there. Okay, now you can see it featured in our box. So we can shut this, open up our player journal, go down to the character that needs it, open up his character sheet and click on edit. I'm just going to move it over to the side a little bit. Back to the art library. We've got our picture down here. We're just going to drag it up to there. This is his avatar. So this will show on the journal, so we can see who he is. And this is where the character token is going to be. But before we put it in there, rest it on the desktop or the map page. And if you've got your grid enabled, it will automatically size. So it doesn't matter what size uh, you've saved that picture to, it will automatically adjust it to the size of the map. That is assuming that you've got it on this, uh, you've got the map on the objects and tokens part over here. But it should be by default, so it's not a problem. So yeah, drag it onto there and it'll auto uh, fit to the size. So let's just select on it before we save it onto the character sheet completely. We can click on it. There we go, and it opens up with the bubbles. Sometimes it's a bit slow on here. So we're just going to add some details into here. Um, I tend to like to put health points in here. So this character's got 27 health points. We'll whack them in there. This one I'll tend to use for passive perception. So we'll add them in there. And this one is armor class. I like to have it as. So we'll add it on there. And then just go to the settings. Open them up. And we need to uh, link it to this player. So this player is called Carl up here. So we're going to link it down to Carl just on there. Okay, so it represents character Carl and the name is Carl. If you tick that, the token will have a little nameplate underneath it. You can tint it different colors there. These just show you the boxes we've put on here. And if you want to add any auras or um, what you call like radius things coming off, you can do that down there. But for now, we'll keep it like that. So we'll save the changes. Okay, now we need to do, we've got the token highlighted. So we're going to use selected token. And it adds it into there. And we're going to save changes. There we go. And it should all be done, fingers crossed. So we'll just delete this token off now. That's out of the way, we don't need that. So let's open up the journal. Go down to Carl and we can see, he's highlighted, we can see that he's got the little avatar is there. And when we click on him, it opens up, which is all good. And then if we hold him down so he's blue, hold the left mouse button, drag him on the screen, here comes his token. And we click on it and all the bits are still saved in there, okay? Pretty cool. And if he was going to take some hit points, you just click on the hit points. Say you've got five hit points, type minus five, press enter, and it'll even work it out for you and keep track of it as you go and play along. Okay, so I hope that's helped again. Um, I'll do another tutorial for you. There's something else on Roll20. I haven't decided what yet, so drop us a comment um, if there's anything you particularly want to see. But till next time, see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.